drop down fields are easy to use and it makes things really simple for your users to choose an option. What if I told you that you can use dynamic drop downs to create a nested list? Let me show you how. Hey everyone, welcome to Jotform. I'm Kimberly, and this type of dropdown is extremely unique. And of course, it's dynamic because it's a dynamic dropdown. The way that I think about this is kind of like a, if they choose this, then show them this type of dropdown. So I, I pretty much started a brand new form from scratch. I haven't added anything to it. So I'm gonna go over to the left-hand side where it says add a form element, and we're going to choose widgets, and then we're gonna search for a dynamic dropdown. There we go. Perfect. Now, one thing that I can tell you is this might look a little bit confusing. It's going to take some playing around with to see exactly what it does. But once you get the hang of it, it's a game changer. Now over here on the right hand side, we have where all of our values live. And then down here underneath this gray text will also give you more information about what to put where. And we also have a really awesome help article, so you can also check that out as well. But for this example, I'm going to say, I'm gonna give you the option to choose if you want chips or cookies. And then once you choose one of those options, you get a choice of what type of chips and what type of cookies. So we'll say group A is chips, and then group B right here is cookies. Now, whenever you click the space bar, see there's one space right here, that is what gives the options. So under chips, let's say that I'm gonna offer Cheetos and Doritos. And then under cookies, I'm going to add chocolate chips. Then I'm gonna hit the return key to come down one time and we're gonna do Oreos. I'm gonna get rid of this B2. And I'm gonna do one more space. That's gonna make it another nested list within this. And we're gonna say, do you want plain Oreos? One, two, three. And then mint Oreos. And then we have these other options down here. We can delete those. So now let's give this a try. I'm gonna come up here to preview form. Okay, do we want chips or do we want cookies? Let's say it's already on chips. So the drop down is gonna give me Cheetos or Doritos. That's my choice under chips. But let's say, mm, you know what? I kinda of want a cookie instead of chips. If I come here, I have the choice of chocolate chips or Oreos. I think I want Oreos, but now I get to choose do I want plain Oreos or mint Oreos. So you can see the layered complexity and also simplicity of this dynamic dropdown. So if you have any questions about utilizing dynamic dropdowns in your forms, please let us know and I'll see you next time.